Hello, this is your girl, Mama Motor Mouth. Um, this is another episode of I-86 That. Okay, um, the question came to me, um, sex and how to take care of your little honey in the bedroom. Okay, well, what we're going to do right now is just assume that, you know, you guys decide to go that route with, you know, your, um, your mate or your partner. Okay, well, I, I have heard the saying, um, some men treat women like gas. <laughs> they like the fill up and then leave. But, you know, when that happens, you know, as a woman, treat a man like a gas station. Make them pay before they pump. <laughs> Honey, cut the cake and give me a slice. <laughs> okay, now that we got that out the way, <laughs> boys and girls, I feel that sex should be like banging your head, let's see, and feet and hands together <laughs> like a pair of cymbals in an overworked marching band. It should be exciting. It should be lovely. It should be breathtaking. It should be awesome. I mean, three minutes? Seriously? Okay, uh, what's three minutes? You trying to put the fire out and it's still cold outside. <laughs> mm -mm, no, that's not how it happened. Well, see, my thing is, we all know sex is very, very important, especially when it comes to relationships. And, you know, when you... When you're having sex with your partner, you want to be able to know, uh, well, number one, know, know their bodies. Okay, know what it is that they like. Know what it is that makes them hot. Know what it is that makes them tick. Okay, um, know what it is that gets them aroused. You know, female, male, it doesn't matter. Um, I think the thing about it is um, when you're young and when you're you're immature, you know, you, you sort of try to figure it out. You know, you, you try to figure out um, the spots. You know, you try to figure out, um, you know, what they like and what they don't like. Baby, when you're old, when you get my age, I'm sorry. Um, there's no figuring out. Uh, I like it right here. Kiss me right there. I, I like for you to play up here. You know what I'm saying? I like for you to mm -hmm, go downstairs, eat at the buffet. You know what I'm saying? So, it's. let me just go ahead and tell you what I like because I have no time for you to be trying to guess. I have no time for you to be trying to, you know, figure it out. Mm -mm, baby, we way past that. We grown, we mature, we adults. Mm -mm. I mean, especially if you suffering from SIDS. I'm sorry. That means small infant dick syndrome. I'm sorry, y'all. But, I mean, that, especially when you're suffering from that, whoo, it's a lot more extra that you're really going to have to do. Um, I help my guys out. Um, I teach them, teach them about, um, as far as, like, helping to grow their penis. You know, of course, you have all these medicines and ads. And, you know, you got them, you know, the, the porn websites. And, you know, they have all this other different stuff that they try to, you know, advertise. That, that, you know, to give you a bigger package. You know, you grow six inches in three months and da-da-da. And, and, and I understand. But I like to take the, um, I guess you could say, the natural method. So, for all the men out there, um, go to the adult bookstore or go to the sex shop. They actually have... Um, penis pumps you know dick pumps whatever you want to call them but they have those pumps and it does grow your penis naturally um they're very easy to use uh, i'll do a tutorial on that um at another time but they are very easy to use and if you use it um three to four times a week uh 15 30 minutes you know each time that you use it then within 30 days you will have an entire inch um within three months it will give you two to five inches more it just depends on how often you you know use it um like i said i'll do the tutorial on that later on but um you know like i said uh the thing about it is you know you want to be able to please that person in the bedroom and if you are you know suffering from small infinite syndrome then you know that's one approach that you're really gonna have to take um, as far as like trying to, you know, get it the size that she wants to get it. I mean, you could be a four and you could buy a penis pump and it will get you to a seven. You could be a five, it'll get you to an eight. You could be a six and it will get you to a nine or a ten. You know, so, and I, I know for a fact that, you know, that it, it does work. Um, I've had to buy several, you know, to help out a few of my, my guy friends, you know, in their relationships and stuff like that. Uh, or I would direct them to the places that they need to go in order for them to get them. But, um... 
when you're suffering from see it small infant dick syndrome you know stop running around here trying to pretend like your, your sex is the magic wand you waving it everywhere and you thinking that it's good and it's not good because it's not going to help and it's not going to change what's going on in the bedroom and it's not going to change your little honey of course i know you know women of a particular age you know just like me you have i say just been through that as far as like you know a man that had a any weenie and he thought that he was doing something and my thing is um i don't sugarcoat anything um i tell it like it is and when that happened over the years you know with me talking and dealing with different men i told him i'm like baby you're not packing in that area i'm gonna need you to get some help uh, i know what you know to do to help you out but um no not happening mm -mm. and the thing about it is it i know it may have been insulting but um they did tell me, you know, later on that it helped them. Um, the reason why the women was cheating and stuff like that was because of the simple fact that they didn't have big enough package. And um, they were too embarrassed to say anything. You know, they didn't want to say anything to them. And it, Well, like I said, um, when you of a particular age, you too grown for all that, baby. Just go ahead and say what you mean and mean, mean what you say. But the thing about it is... Um, even now, um, like I said, you just want to be able to um, satisfy that person. You, and like I said, talk to them, see what it what it is they like. Whether you like toys or not, or you know, whether you you want to be, you know, a little bit more free, you know, in the bedroom or whatever. I mean, how long you like this, or how short you like this to happen, how long you like for this to happen. I mean, it really doesn't even, you know, uh, really matter as far as like. Um, you know what you use now in the bedroom uh it used to be a crime to oh you use the dildo or you use the vibrator blah, blah, blah. Mm, please you know it's time to evolve you know like i said you have to use a little bit of everything because nowadays uh sex is like a gas station you know sometimes you get full service well uh sometimes you gotta ask for service sometimes you gotta be happy with self-service you know what i'm saying i mean do it yourself so I mean, if you want to be spectacular, like I said, then you find out what that person like, you know, because I'm going to tell you, this is what I like and this is what I don't like. This is what I want you to do. This is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to stay down there for a whole 30 minutes when I'm through after 10 and we need to be getting it on. And this is the position I like. This is the position I don't like. You know, I don't mind about trying other positions, you know, just to make you happy or, you know, just like I said, just talk to the person, just talk to the partner. But um, as far as like taking care of them, just see what they want, talk to them, and you do what they say to do, you know, or if they say n not to do, you you know, you don't want to make them, make them feel uncomfortable because maybe if they tell you not to do it now, you don't know, they may change their mind in six months or a year or two years or five years. They may change their mind and decide, okay, well, yeah, I'll let you do that, you know, because you can't knock something that you haven't already tried, you know. So, um, those are my little snip snippets for today, and um, I love you guys, and hopefully, you know, that helped. But this is your girl, Mama Motormouth. Deuces.